guys, it's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to another Tech Tutorial Wednesday where I help your YouTube and video creation needs. And today I'm going to show you guys how to record your computer screen using the Elgato Game Capture. And now in this tutorial I'm going to be using two different computers. If you guys would like to know how to do it with one computer, woo, here's the video on the side. Click this right now, the annotation that you see on screen or link description below. Click on that video and that will teach you in detail how to do it with one computer. Which in my opinion, okay get on the screen, in my opinion it's not the best way to do it. It's better if you have two, two computers, it's easier, and to be honest, your video is going to turn out a hell of a lot better. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, Midnight Man, what's the reason why can't I just use my one laptop and make it, you know, just as good as using two? Well, you're using more processing power if you're having one laptop. You're running the gameplay that you're trying to record as well as the Elgato Game Capture software, which also takes a lot of stress on your computer. So in the end, if your computer is not up to spec, your gameplay might be a little messed up. But if you're like me and are fortunate enough to have two laptops on hand or two computers, whatever, then you're in luck because you won't have the crazy audio issues or any other kind of problems that would come from trying to use one laptop or computer. So yeah, it's kind of like recording your own console basically. It works the exact same way. So let's begin the tutorial. So of course for starters, you gotta start off with your Elgato Game Capture HD. You're gonna need to want to have that or if you just can't record, no. A standard USB cable, one HDMI cable, and now here's the part that might vary for a few of you guys. You guys might have two towers, two laptops, one laptop, one tower, vice versa, whatever. You're going to want to have two computers, maybe even running Mac, Windows. It doesn't matter. Just make sure your computer is up to the specifications where it can run the gameplay that you want to play and also the Elgato Game Capture on another computer. So this computer, we're going to be running the Elgato Game Capture and we will tie that into this computer right here which will be running the gameplay so that way you know you know the computers are kind of sharing the stress they don't have not one computer has to share the load of doing gameplay and recording so you get my flow all right so to get things started you want to take the Elgato game capture HD and grab that HDMI cable and you want to plug one end of that HDMI cable into the HDMI in right there so you'll have something looking like that then you're going to want to grab the small end of that USB and then plug it on this side and plug it in the USB slot on the Elgato Game Capture. So to finish things off with the Elgato, HDMI end over here and then you're going to have a USB cable on the right hand side over there. Alrighty, so just as a quick refresher, this computer here is running the gameplay and this one is going to be recording it using the Elgato Game Capture software. So if we take back our Elgato Game Capture that we were messing around with, you're going to want to find the HDMI end slot here and you're going to plug that in to the laptop that's going to be playing the gameplay. Like so, and it'll have a flicker on the screen by the way because you're plugging the HDMI input into it. After that, you can grab the USB in, the fat end this time, and you're going to plug that into the laptop that's going to be recording. Alright you guys, so after you've done those steps, you should be absolutely home free. This is the laptop that will have the gameplay that I'll be playing on. And then over here is the Elgato Game Capture. So there's a little closer look about what I can see on this laptop screen over there. And as you can see, everything is running normal. This is a really, really easy setup, guys. And if for some reason you're not getting a picture, go into your setting, just make sure everything is normal. I even have PlayStation 4 selected and it's still outputting correctly. So I've got those improve themselves over time and things are working really well. And now you can even add a microphone if you would like. You can add that to the other USB port that your computer might have, or if you don't have one, you might have to get a splitter. So now if you have a microphone you'd like to add for live commentary, which you can click this blue button down here for, that will pick up your voice if you have a microphone selected. As you can see, it's picking up my audio right now. But make sure you plug your mic into this laptop. Whatever laptop that is recording off of the Elgato, make sure you plug it into that laptop. Don't plug it into the laptop that you'll be playing the game with. Don't plug it into that one. Make sure it's plugged into whatever device is recording everything. So real quick guys, there's one little thing I left out while I was editing this video and it's kind of important and it's about getting the audio back to you. Not necessarily recording it. If you set up everything correctly like I said in this video, that will be perfectly fine. But what if you want to hear the audio yourself while you're playing? Things get a little bit more complicated there and it doesn't work perfectly, at least the way I was able to come up with. If you have a better way of coming up with it, more power to you. But if you don't have a method and you're wondering how this works, well basically, you're going to have to put your headphones into the computer that is getting all the recording. So basically, you're going to be two seconds behind hearing that audio while you're playing. So if that kind of annoys you or if it bothers you, just try to go without it. 
that's what I usually do for myself. Plus, I have a microphone, which is right here, actually. And let's say you have a mic and you want to hear the audio. Well, you're going to have to put this mic and plug it in to the computer that you're playing the game on. So, that's what I have here. And then also get Audacity so that you can record the audio going through here. So, you won't have this plugged into the Elgato to make it really easy and everything automatically lined up. You have to line up everything in post-production actually so that kind of sucks so if you do have a usb mic it's going to be a good note to want to go into your settings and then your playback devices and over here it'll most likely be checked off whatever like usb mic you have like for me it's the yeti this is usually the default so you just want to change around these defaults and make sure it's going to the elgato so that your elgato which i have on the other laptop here is getting that audio so this is something small recording audacity i'll play it and it should be going through here there you go. So that way your gameplay audio still goes through the computer. If you're listening to it, it's going to be two seconds behind, but then you'll at least be able to record your microphone as well. So guys, I hope this was a really simple, easy tutorial for you guys. If you're having any difficulties whatsoever, please drop a comment down below. I always check the comments and I will reply to you, or there might be someone else who might reply to you faster. Who knows? And if there's any other tutorials you guys want me to show you, like anything YouTube related or editing videos, anything like that, or with the Elgato, Drop me another comment, let me know, because then I want to help you guys out and show you some more cool stuff. So before the video ends, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a gameplay example of me recording off my laptop to the Elgato Game Capture on another laptop. And, you know, let me know how it is. I think it's going to be pretty good. Definitely going to turn out a lot better than if I use one laptop for everything. So that's going to be it, guys. See you in the next video. Peace out.